Hey folks, Justin here with Movo. Today, we're going to take a look at the LV22C and the LV22OD. These are both broadcast quality condenser microphones. However, the LV22OD is an omnidirectional mic and the LV22C is a cardioid mic. We'll get into that in just a little bit, a little bit more in depth. Um, but for right now, let's take a look inside the box and see what they come with. We're gonna go ahead and unbox the LV22OD. Um, now, first off, the boxes will contain pretty much the same thing with the exception of the type of microphone. Um, inside, you're going to get a nice little pouch um, that contains everything that you'll need, as well as our happy, not happy comment card, let you know how to reach out to Movo if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, then you're also gonna get a little manual. This will go over the different components um, and specifications of the mic and if you have any questions about how to set it up or use it after this video definitely check out your manual inside our handy little pouch here we have a few things first being this body pack this is made out of metal and it is durable which is great because oftentimes we clip these in our back pockets or the side of our pants we sit on them they get banged into and being made out of metal is definitely going to make this thing last a lot longer on the back we have a nice metal clip on the top, there's going to be a couple plugs, one being the standard XLR uh, cable plug. That's where the audio will go out of into either a camera, an audio recorder, um, or an audio board. Just depends on where you want your audio to go. The mini XLR plug is where the microphone will plug into. Right next to that, we have an LED indicator light for you. And on the side is going to be our power switch. Now, you do need to insert a battery into this or use 48 volts of phantom power, so keep that in mind before you head out on your shoot. A few accessories do come with the mics. Uh, first, we have a nice little lapel clip, a foam windscreen, and the furry or dead cat windscreen. We'll go ahead and hook those up here in just a second. Last up, the microphone itself. On one end is that mic capsule, and on the other end is that mini XLR plug. That is going to plug straight into um, our body pack. Now before we do that, hooking up the accessories, really quick and simple, here I have the foam windscreen. Place that on the top of the mic capsule and slide it right down. You're pretty much ready to go with that. Now you just need to clip on the lapel clip right at the base and it should securely snap on there. Now to hook it up to the body pack, also pretty quick, you will take the mini XLR plug, find the mini XLR plug end on here, snap it into place. Once it snaps in, pull it a little bit, make sure it doesn't come out. Now, that standard XLR plug, you do wanna hook that up into either your camera or your recording device, it's up to you. I'm gonna use an XLR cable that I already have, uh, but keep that in mind that you will need an XLR cable. Movo has a ton for you to choose from if you don't already have one. I'm all mic'd up and we're just about ready to test out both the LV22C and LV22OD. Currently, you're listening to me on the Canon XF400, that's my camera, the onboard microphone there. We'll do a comparison between that microphone, both of the LV22s, and then I'll compare just the LV22C with the LV22OD. That way you can see the difference between cardioid and omnidirectional and know which is best for you or which to use in different kinds of situations. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You could probably tell the difference between the onboard microphone and the LV22s. Right now we're on the LV22OD, the omnidirectional microphone. You'll hear a little bit of handling noise as I take this off maybe. Um, I want you to notice though um, how I move this around. Keeping in mind this is the omnidirectional, the LV22OD. As I turn the microphone, you might see or you might hear a little bit of a difference, uh, but generally there's not going to be a ton of difference um, as I turn it and point it and move it in slightly different, uh, different directions. That's because it's picking up in all directions. It's an omnidirectional microphone. Um, a great time when you would want to use this is when you're not sure exactly how the mic is going to end up or if you have multiple people that you're trying to pick up on one microphone. I've used omnidirectional lavalier mics before um, with two people that I, I was talking to at the same time because that's all I had at the time. 
you could clip it onto maybe the person who has the lower volume of the two and then just adjust it to their volume keeping in mind the the other individual there now we're back on the lv 22 c c stands for cardioid cardioid comes from heart which is similar to the pickup pattern of a cardioid microphone with the two rounded parts of the heart being behind the microphone and the more focused pointier part of that heart being in front of the microphone what that means is you will pick up a little bit of audio behind the microphone and a little bit to the sides um, however there will be more focused pick up from right in front of the microphone. So depending on what you have going around you, um, if there is more background noise, things going on, this would be a great microphone to help reduce some of that. It won't completely eliminate anything um, unless it's far enough away, but it will focus that audio pickup um, where you want it. Um, now, talking about where we were at before with having multiple people, this would not be the microphone for that um, because it, it's going to uh, intentionally focus on what's right in front of the mic uh, but that's why you have an omnidirectional mic and that's why I carry both just just in case I go from having one person to two people I can have two mics and I just have one that I can hook up and record two people as I move this mic around I want you to notice the pickup even though I'm not that far from the mic I am pointing it away from me and as I turn it around at the same exact distance, it's probably having a, a decent amount more pickup in the audio. So I can turn it to the side, and as I turn it around, it'll probably start to reduce in the volume. I'm not changing my voice at all. I'm talking in the same volume. So you can kind of see the difference between a cardioid microphone and an omnidirectional microphone, and maybe just start thinking about when you would want to use these different mics, depending on what you want to capture for your audio. And there you have it, the LV22C and the LV22OD. I hope this video gave you a little bit more info on which mic might be best for you and a little insight on which mic might be best for certain situations. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. We love hearing from you here at Movo. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.